Welcome back to our channel guys and today's topic is all about Alvar Alto, one of the masters of international style in architecture. His dictum, I do not write but I build, quote. Born Hugo Alvar Henrik Alto, February 3, 1898 at Kortein, Finland. Died May 1, 1976 at the age of 78 in Finland. Nationality Finnish Awards Riva Gold Medal AIA Gold Medal Buildings Paimio Sanitorium Sainat Salo Town Hall Bipuri Library Bilia Mairia Baker House Finlandia Hall Projects Helsinki City Center Design Savoy Base by Mio Chea. History Hugo Albar Henrik Alto was born in Kortein, Finland. His father, Johan Henrik Alto, was Finnish speaking land surveyor, and his mother, Silly Matilda, was a Swedish speaking postmistress. When Alto was five years old, the family moved to Alajarvi and from there to Jebaskaila in central Finland. Alto studied the Cevala Skyla Lyceum School, completing his basic education in 1916. 1916, he then enrolled to study architecture at the Helsinki, that Helsinki University of Technology. Helsinki, that's Helsinki, guys. His studies were interrupted by the Finnish Civil War, which he fought in. He built his first piece of architecture while still a student, a house for his parents at al -Azarvi. Afterwards, he continued his education and graduating in 1921. His career, Alto's career spans the changes in style from Nordic classicism to purest international style, modernism to a more personal, synthetic, and idiosyncratic modernism. Alto's wide field of design activity ranges from the large scale of city planning and architecture to interior design, furniture and glassware design and painting. It has been estimated that during his entire career, Alto designed over 500 individual buildings, approximately 300 of which were built, the vast majority of which are in Finland. He also has few buildings in France, Germany, Italy, and United States of America. His philosophy, his design philosophy was influenced by nature and organic materials unlike other furniture of the same period with materials as tubular steel which were quite modern at the time. With his innovative design and natural forms, he changed the course of design towards organic modernism. The beauty of his work is hidden in his design approach of functionalism but with a strong connection to the organic relationship between man, nature, and the building. He coordinated these three components and created a synthesis of life in materialized form. He designed in a very different scales ranging from buildings, town plans, furniture, glassware, jewelry, and other forms of art. The famous works of Alvar Alto, the Workers' Club in 1924, Architectural style is Nordic classical. Features discontinuous glazing on all four sides of entrance level. This building houses a restaurant and a coffee bar which supports the auditorium above. He employs various classical devices, circular atrium, Doric columns, Palladian window, cartouches to decorate the stacco's wall. Here is the ground floor plan. It was a two-story building situated on the corner of two streets in the center of the town and with a cafe and restaurant on the ground floor. From the street level, one entered an impressive entrance that led upstairs to the auditorium. Here are the entrance guy. Here is the entrance that leads to the auditorium upstairs on the second level.
structural style functionalism features uses RCC frame with infill being an insulating brick cavity wall which is then rendered in a painted white sand trap balconies are cantilevered from tapering RCC frame exposed left shaft on the external wall free form cantilevered canopy well you like so much cantilevered did you recognize that guys okay here's the plan the ground floor plan the plan was meant to be functionally zoned and biodynamical biodynamical aligned to the compass so that the direction of its wings was defined according to its requirements for sunshine view a continuous sand deck, sand deck that runs over the patient wing is protected with RCC canopy to reduce solar gain dining room was an enclosed mezzanine suspended from steel hangers form of above it had a lot of natural light due to the double height windows and the sun blinds outside prevented glare main staircase has natural light which is further enhanced by the yellow color of the stair alto also believed that bright colors made people feel better and more active so the lobby was treated with bright yellow walls he really likes color close to yellow like orange door handles designed to prevent coat sleeves from being caught in them the villa myria 1924 architectural style modernism features courtyard of the villa was inspired by the organization of vernacular farmstead the massing was inspired by the falling waters of frank lloyd wright by the way frank lloyd wright is the number one master of international style and alvar alto is also one of the master here is the floor plan from the ground floor first floor bedroom windows pro project out at an angle to address the line to approach the house through the forest Well, this is the first time that I saw an angled window to give more view on, on his favorite view, the forest. The main entrance to the door is approached under two-level canopy, supported by a compound timber column and screened by a miniature forest of poles. I really like canopies and cantilever like here the entrance is with a vast span of canopy and the interior is always with yellow that's his favorite color to enter this inner sanctum columns are made to resemble tree trunks are located at a certain points to create the impression similar to that of emerging through the fringes of a forest the baker's house 1947 architectural style modernist baker house is dormitory for the massachusetts institute of technology designed in 1946 alto was assisted by three finnish architects belly paatela with his wife Kaiza and Olav Hammerstrom or Hammerstrom in addition to Aino. It was named Baker House in 1950 after Ibi Mo Baker, MIT's dean of students, who was killed in a plane crash that year. The site is located on heavily traffic street along the Charles River. 
in order to avoid as much as possible disturbing view out onto the streets curving platform was chosen so did you notice guys this is a very curvilinear form the purpose is same as to have a good view on what is important to view an attempt this is an attempt to make use of this phenomenon was made with a form of building the windows face diagonally to the passing automobiles and thus afford a quieter environment for the person within the room the stairway system is housed in a panel structure rising up to the north side of the building which allows an obstructed view along its entire length from the lowest landing so here is the plan of the MIT dormitory Cambridge Massachusetts features the set of rooms can be seen in as an illustration of what alto might mean by flexible standardization its cell is essentially identical but because of the shape curve on plan 22 different room shapes are created in typical floor of 43 rooms and columns on the ground floor are simple plastered cylinder but on the upper level their connection with the trees beyond is emphasized by its plaid shape and timber cladding the Otanini Technical University location SPU function auditorium library and university contributed by Gonzalez Jus Ledia Albal Albar Alto designed the campus for the Autonomy Technical University in Espoo, Finland between 1949 and 1966. Alto's buildings for the university include the main building, the library, and the shopping center, and the water tower with crescent-shaped auditorium at the center. This is the crescent-shaped auditorium, guys. The focal point of this university center is the auditorium building with two large halls also intended for congress all tuition rooms are in adjacent buildings group about small internal courts and there are also found smaller lecture rooms laboratories and professor rooms the center is divided into three principal departments general judaic and architectural the chief materials are dark red brick black granite and copper outdoor lights by alto the lamp post in the otanini campus area have also been designed by alto there are three types of lamp post one with curved cover one with straight cover and one with no cover at all in a staircase like ascending rows of windows suggest from outside and amphitheater the heating plant the campus based heating plant building designed by Alba Alto Alto was realized at the outset of the 1960s the most visible section of the building is the cube shaped power plant whose internal engineering is exposed to view from a glass facade Amiran Taibal this building was completed in, in 1966 is the only dormitory on campus designed by Alba Alto the four-story b-shaped edifice has over 200 rooms and originally it functioned during the summers as, as a hotel wow this is multifunctional building the library the library building designed by Alba Alto was completed in 1969 the Ota Halli Otahali Sports Center designed by Alvar Alto was completed for the 1952 Olympics. The building's larger hall was one of the time country's largest structures of its kind. So here is the plan. The elevation. And 
the section of the autonomy, the perspective In his campus plan, Albert Alto placed the School of Science and Technology main building in a very visible central location, situated on one of the seven hills of the area of the end of the row of lime trees. It is sure to be seen it is landmark feature. The striking amphitheater-like auditorium is particularly noticeable. The Otahali Complex, the library plan, side elevation, front view the Jamiran Jamiran Taibal the Finlandia Hall architectural style is modern architecture the Finlandia Hall is a congress and event venue in the center of Helsinki on Tolo Tulon Lati Bay Finlandia Hall was designed in 1962 and built between 1967 and 72. The plan for the Congress Wing was drawn up in 1970 and was constructed between 1973 and 75 with the completion of the first stage of its overall project. The features The main features of the Finlandia Hall building is a tower-like section with a sloping roof. Albar Alto's idea behind the design was that high empty space would be provide better acoustics. So he gave emphasis on acoustics. First time I heard along with the five masters of architecture only Albar Alto talks about acoustics. A suspended ceiling hides the space to the audience but it allows the creation of the same deep post echo as tall church towers. I'll to use marble on both indoor and outdoor surfaces as contrast to black granite. Alto marble was a tie to the Mediterranean culture which wanted to bring to The mature approach resulting from Alto's long career as an architect. Optical illusion. The National Museum building on the other side of the street seems to rise from the edge of the Finland Diapole. The effect is created by a black trapezium, trapezium on the white marble surface of the Finlandia. The trapezium has been measured to fit the rising tower of National Museum when the Finlandia Hall is viewed from the eastern shore of the Tulun Lati Bay Alto like the crate to optical illusion. He, al he always loved to create optical illusion. That is or that was Albar Alto all about. Main buildings, main auditorium seats 1,700, Helsinki Hall seat 340, Terrace Hall seats 250, Elisa Hall seats 130, Aurora Hall seats 894, Veranda seats 1,700, Finlandia Restaurant, Cafe Veranda, and Galleria. The main auditorium has been a popular venue for meetings. Congresses, festivities, concerts, and events from the very beginning. The auditorium sits 1,700 people, 1,200 in the stalls, and 500 in the balcony. Piazza is the large foyer that is full of natural light. The colors are subdued and quiet. The floor of the foyer is covered with highly quality English wall carpeting. This is the plan, ground floor, second floor, and third floor. The House of Culture in Helsinki, the Finnish Pavilion, New York. 
Riula Parish Church, Italy, headquarters for the White Guards. The other works of Alvar Alto, other than architecture, is also he likes to design furniture, like the famous Paimio chair, stool, clear vase, concept of furniture designing. His design concepts were organic and using the human form. His buildings and chairs were first prompted by the user. The seats and handles were molded to the human form of all architectural, architectural furniture. His is the closest to humanity. Furniture works, he concluded that standardization and mass production could not be sustained in Finland's small economy. His chairs were the result of great study and investigation into posture, laminated wood, static considerations, and efficient mechanical methods of mass productions. The Pamio chair is said to have been influenced by the curved contours of Finnish legs. It is one of the most elegant modern chair. The frame is laminated, birds bent, into closed curve with solid birds cruise rails. Wow, they have a technology in bending woods during those days. The curves are made by clumping layers of veneer and glue over a form to achieve the desired curve shapes. It was supported by cantilevered continuous arm, cantilevered continuous arm, and leg frame of laminated birch plywood, steam bent into a shape of C, and had horizontal braces for the back. What a famous chair it is! The Bipuri is stacking stools. The Bipuri collection of furniture com complemented Alto's forward-thinking design. The stacking tool, or the stacking stool, this was made up of only four wooden parts, three Alto's legs, and an around seat. These three-legged stools are versatile and functional. Okay, let's take a look. This is the stool, they're talking about a three-legged stool. What a good idea. Mm -hmm. Problem with this is you might be fall if you are bending backward. You know what I mean, guys. Four legs is better than three. These are designed chairs by Alvarez Alto at Art Tech because of his idea of long span cantilever. He applied cantilever into chair. Notice that the cantilever guy is here. Well, thank you so much, guys, for viewing and don't go away. Questions will be given to you in a couple of seconds okay guys here are the questions for you about Albar's Alto okay number one question is what is Albar Alto known for number two what inspired Albar Alto for taking up architecture which among the following were the contribution of Hugo Albar Hendrik Alto what does the name Alto mean? How did Alvar Alto change modernism? Where does modernism in architecture take inspiration from? What part of Europe is Finland? Who is considered the father of modernism in Scandinavia? What is Finnish architect? Where did Alvar Alto attend college? Okay guys, so that's all for today and don't forget to subscribe the channel and most importantly, always make a comment so that you will be noted. Comment is your attendance. Thank you so much. Ciao for now.